So, well, here we are, and this is the presentation of my polyphonic uh, Arduino synthesizer, uh, also known as MicroPen on Digilog. And just as a, as a word of caution, this section of the video is totally unscripted. So if I make a lot of mistakes while talking or other stuff, just please ignore it. Okay, so let's power it up. It has that nice Game Boy chime. So the synthesizer is basically divided up into four main parts. We have the filter, the envelope generator, the low frequency oscillator, as well as the main oscillator, and of course the volume control. We will go through them from right to left as, well, they get more complicated in that order. So let's just begin. So first of all, we have the main oscillator and this is the potentiometer that adjusts its pitch. We can of course play it using the keys and we can also pitch it using the potentiometer. It has four main waveforms, although there are technically only two. We have the square wave, which is the default sound, a saw wave, as well as the high-pitched versions of both. So here we have the high-pitched square and the high-pitched saw. Next up is the low-frequency oscillator. For those of you who don't know, this oscillator does not play in the audio range. Its maximum frequency here is 20, it is 20 Hz, so the lowest frequency the human he ear can hear. This is only used for modulation, in my case the modulation of the volume of the main oscillator, as well as the modulation of the filter. So we will just go through it. Uh, it has four potentiometers. This one is the pitch. This one chooses the wave. I didn't have a switch for it, so that I just used the potentiometer. But when it is in this position, it's a triangle wave. I will slow it down so you can hear it better. Next up is a saw wave. And then a square. So yeah, you could also see that I was messing around with these two potentiometers and these adjust the modulation or basically how much the filter modulates stuff. Just how much the low frequency oscillator modulates stuff, sorry for the mistake. The first potentiometer adjusts the level of volume change, basically how much the, the oscillator adjusts the volume of the main oscillator. So this is at maximum and this is at minimum. So if you set it to maximum, you can clearly hear that it modulates the volume. And the next potentiometer is used for setting how much the filter is modulated. But we will go to that another, uh, later. So this is the envelope generator. And it's used for, to modulate the volume or other stuff with an envelope. So it has these four potentiometers. This one is attack, decay, sustain, and release. I'll go back to that a bit later. It also has these two switches that allow you to set what does the envelope generator modulate. So if this switch is turned on, that means that the filter is getting modulated by the envelope generator. However, if this light is lit up, that means that it's modulating the volume of the main oscillator. I will now demonstrate how this works. So we only have the main oscillator set to, modul to be modulated and we have a very long attack. That means that the volume of the node will be rising very slowly. Then we have the decay. That's ba so basically how it works. The attack, by, this, uh, by setting this potentiometer, you set the amount of time it will take the node to get from the lowest volume to the absolute maximum allowed by the synthesizer, so 255, because it's an 8-bit synthesizer. Then when it reaches that value of 255, the next phase will start, the decay. And this is once again sets the time 
of how how long would you like to the, for the note to take to go from 255 volume to the amount you set by this potentiometer which is sustain and okay let me just demonstrate it here we have the uh, here we have the attack now we are in the decay portion and now we are in sustain as you can see the note doesn't change volume because we already passed through these two potentiometers so now we are on the third one sustain and when I release the key the last section will start which is release and this once again sets the time of how long do you want to, to, for the note to decay to slowly decay to basically zero volume so to turn off and to turn any of these settings off so for example if we don't want the attack we can just set it to zero same with release and now the note will sound like this and now for the final part the low pass filter also known as the cutoff filter based on Luke Mando computer's design this filter well what it does let me just show you real quick so we have a note playing but what if we want to cut it out a bit? You may have heard a bit of a loud pitch sound. That's because the resonance potentiometer is not perfect. All of these parts are scrapped from other electronics. So it sometimes connects the lines a bit weirdly and the sound appears. But if I turn it off, it works fine. So what does this uh, potentiometer do? Well, it may sound a bit weird, but when you play a square wave tone, which is what we are currently playing, on basically any other tone, you can represent it by a bit of uh, by, uh, by a lot of sine waves added to one another. And so even though, for example, this note may play like at 100 Hz or something like that, in reality, it's many different frequencies stacked on another and by turning this potentiometer you are basically cutting these frequencies out from the highest to the lowest this is why the higher notes get cut out faster than the lower ones see this one is practically at half volume while you can barely hear the upper one the next potentiometer adjusts the resonance I have, and I'm going to be totally honest, I have like zero idea how this works, but it makes it just sound cool. So yeah, that's just what it does. And then the last potentiometer adjusts the modulation of the filter. So the way be, you might ask why do we need this potentiometer well, we already have it on the low pass filter well you see we have two modulators the envelope generator and the low frequency oscillator sorry for the mistake a bit earlier on so the, the potentiometer here only adjusts how much does the LFO so the low frequency oscillator modulate the filter it does not set how much does the envelope generator modulate it and that's what this potentiometer sets into the overall modulation level for the filter from both the LFO and the envelope generator so let me set it to the absolute maximum and let's turn off the main oscillator modulation and turn on the filter modulation as well as lower the volume modulation on the LFO and set the filter modulation to the absolute maximum as well as set a wave that will be easy to differentiate and the frequency to be very low I don't know if you can hear it let me make it a bit faster it may not be hearable on the camera but I am clearly hearing it it's going at about this rate the reason the modulation for the filter is so weak because the whole synthesizer is named the micro digilog because uh, digital 
synthesizer that has one analog part in it and that's the filter. So all of this is digital and is being generated on the fly by the Arduino sitting behind the speaker grill. The actual speaker is in the is this one is in this one. And because this is an, this is an analog filter scavenged from the uh, Quark MS20, it expects control voltages between zero and seven and a half volts or something like that. The Arduino is only giving it a maximum of five, and not always, because we are also modulating it through the envelope generator. So it ha it, ta it takes time for it to build up and then fall down. You know, so the modulation of the filter is not great. But the filter itself, in my opinion at least, gives it a char characteristic sound to it. And that's really all I can say about it. There isn't much more. Now you may ask, am I going to show you take it taken apart? Uh, no. This thing is so complicated inside. It's such a wire mess. It, took, it takes like 15 minutes to disassemble it and then assemble it again. So I'm just not <laughs> going to do it. And also there's no point as you will make absolutely zero sense of it. It's so complicated, even if you know electronics way more than I do, it just won't make sense. It's a wire mess inside. There's no organization whatsoever. And also, if you're wondering, am I going to make it a DIY build project, like I did with the Micro Piano 1? No. Uh, I did it from uh, I did it with no planning whatsoever. The, this keyboard right here, I found it in the trash, it was in good condition, so I t took it out, cleaned it up a bit and uh, we moved all of the electronics. The keyboard matrix took a long time to figure out, so yeah. This was totally not planned, I have zero schematics of it. It was like, oh yeah, this works, so let's attach it here. So it's totally un unorganized and I am not going to go through every single one of these things to draw a schematic. Just sorry. Now. The last thing, the synthesizer is polyphonic. It can play up to four notes at the same time. However, it doesn't work that well as the mixing algorithm I've written for it is a bit broken. It doesn't work the way I wanted it to. And I have no idea why that is. And I looked online for how to mix square waves and saw waves together. And well, what this does is basically distorts it a lot. So one note at a time is fine. What if I play two at a time? It just craps out. So I'm going to publish the mixing algorithm for it. If you're way smarter than me, then if you know how to fix it, then I will be quite happy to implement it so you can actually play it without the nasty intermodulation stuff. Just look, four no three notes at the same time, it gets totally destroyed, and the fourth one... However, it doesn't always work out that way. For example, I have once figured out that if I set the f uh, wave to be a high square wave, set the LFO about this much, and do the square wave, as well as the modulation for the volume to almost the maximum and the filter to minimum. Then if I play these two notes together you can clearly hear the lower, the lower note. So it's not like it's broken, it's just working not as well as I wanted it to. So all I can show you for the micro piano digilog and well see you next time and take care